What is going on you lot? Midi here. We're going to be talking about Julie today. There is one victim that I feel like is slightly underrated a little bit. Obviously you've got Connie's ability being able to lockpick and just go straight through the doors. But then Connie is picked 90% of the time and Julie's a really good alternative to Connie. She's got one of the highest stealths in the game. The less noise you're going to make when looking for lockpicks, when opening up crawl spaces, just pretty much interacting with anything in the game. With this build you can almost get max proficiency and stealth and you can just go around the map and do everything while making zero noise. Of course, in solo queue, when you're playing with randoms, probably someone else is going to wake grandpa up early on. I feel like it's her role to open up every single crawl space in the basement. Then when you finally leave the basement, you can do everything a lot more quiet up there, which is kind of clutch. There's three perks that I'm running with her. It's the highly skilled, so you can increase your proficiency. Sneaky Stinky Pete, where you can actually increase your stealth even more. And then Choose Flight, which I think is one of the strongest stamina perks in the game. Kind of makes up for her lack of stamina. She's got quite low toughness, though. And I am thinking, how many points do you truly need in proficiency and stealth for it to be high enough? I mean, you could probably take a few points out here. But just for this video, I want to see what it's actually like, you know, trying to roll with almost max efficiency and stealth. Her main ability is ultimate escape. So when you activate this, it grants you immunity to tracking from the cook and Johnny while greatly reducing the amount of stamina that's used while running. And I just want to talk about the skill tree for a second because a lot of you have commented this, you know, it's kind of my mistake really. From what you guys are telling me, the bonuses don't actually stack. So if you get level one at 50% and then you get level two at 75%, the 50 and the 75 don't stack on. If this is the case, then this is flawed in a way. A lot of you are saying you should always start with a different level one perk, you know, and then obviously get the 75% if you want it that way, if they don't stack. So you could get the ability last for a lot longer, maybe get the reduced stamina, and then you could go for the reduced cooldown or something like that, or go into the top right again. I do feel like this tree is flawed if they don't stack. I mean, essentially that is massively pointless, but let me know what you think about it. You're just going to be able to do a lot in the game without making barely any noise, and you're going to be quite quick with it too. So we're going to jump into a game, we're going to see how effective this build actually is. As always, make sure you guys leave a like on the video, support the damn channel, jeez! And if there's a victim or family member you want me to look at next, let me know. I think Sonny's going to be next on the list, because he is super underrated. Let's get into a game. Alright, let's do it boys. Oh my god, look at the stealth. Look at the stealth meter. No noise. Only everyone could run this in the game. You'd practically make zero noise, right? Yep. You're going to be getting bone scraps. Look at that. Not even touching the noise meter. And then you've got the proficiency, which is going to speed it up even more. I do feel like it's Julie's job a little bit just to try and open the crawl spaces. Maybe get some of the doors unlocked. You can just do a lot. And don't forget as well, you get XP for doing all of this. For unlocking doors. I actually do get XP for... Oh. That's the only problem with the build. <laughs> you know what I mean? Solo queue life. They're going to be waking up grandpa regardless. I do feel like it is kind of meta nowadays to just rush. Get the bone scraps, get the lock picks. Try to get our basement as quickly as you can. I feel like only on family house you can have a bit of an issue when you rush. The sissy or hitchhiker comes down, you're in trouble. All right, we need to actually... Oh, there we go. All right, let's get a lock pick. Look at that. Done. Space opened as well. You just do anything without making noise. Even when Leatherface is quite near. I'm actually getting out very quick. I don't know if the stealth would affect the lock picking though. Eh? I don't know. I guess it does a little bit. Don't door open. Let's open that. You look, Connie wanted to do the lock pick. Don't worry about it. Save your lock pick for another time up there. Another one quickly before we leave. I mean, look at the time it's taken here. You can just rush. What do I do with this? You do get points for cutting these down, so. Give me my XP! Yeah, give me give me my damn XP. If you guys are wondering how you can level up quick, just do everything you can. I'm gonna stay down here and unlock one more door. I don't think there's anything worse than when a survivor's trying to escape a killer. They jump down and the door's locked. Let's try and help the team out like that. No. I'm actually going to use this exit too. Yeah, out yeah, of the basement. Oh, this is one of the best. This is probably one of the most stealthiest basement exits I've seen in the game for gas station. Look at this. And at night time too. Just never get seen in these bushes. Open up another cool space quickly. Um, looks like someone's over there. Or if they're going for battery straight away or if that was the killer. Door open for now. I go for the fuse exit. Alright, Leland's in here. I'm still trying to learn the spawns for the damn fuses on this map. This is like, I know where the valves spawn, but the fuses I always get mixed up. 
I'll lock that. Front door. Double check, make sure that gives you. Okay, well, we've got Valve. So another thing that's really good with Julie with the stealth. Alright. Well, that was lucky. That was very lucky. I locked that door and just moved over to this corner. I was about to move out of there if I didn't see the valve. Where's this go? Okay. So normally there's a few spots for the valve. One can spawn right there at the back of the house. Another's in the corner directly where I'm looking. I think another one can spawn near the house. I feel like the valve exit is quite dangerous. But it's a really good distraction. You just turn it on, run off, and maybe go for another exit. Oh, chickens there. Oh. Is Leland doing it? Of course he is. <laughs> of course he is. This is what they do. They're ballsy. They're going to be doing plays like this all the time. Oh. All right. We're kind of good. He's kind of took the aggro off me for a sec. Wow. I feel like I've got lucky twice there. I try to get in bushes that are not as common for them to walk through. Ooh, there you go. Oh, he beat me to it. Let's get a step on him. You hold that for me. <laughs> See you later, boys. Right, they've got... He's opened up the valve. We've got battery exit, I'm pretty sure. I'm really hoping. Don't know what gate he's actually opened here. Right, I'm activating my ability here. Give us a little bit of stamina. Don't forget, we've got that passive too. Is it? Yeah, he's coming. It's the other gate. Oh, come on! When our stamina goes down to the bottom, boom. It's going to use our passive there. We've got three charges. Let's go. We can outrun Hitchhiker with this. It's perfect. Look at this. This is why it's one of the best pokes in the game. They can't catch up. You just run forever, look. And we're home free. Let's just go. Sometimes I like to waste a little bit of time now. I was going to slam him with the damn gate door, but whatever. See what everyone else is doing. You're going to see, look, Leland's put himself in a really bad predicament. I mean, he went for the stab on Grandpa, which is huge. But at the same time, you got to make sure you can evade. If not, you're in big trouble. I mean, luckily, Leatherface ain't broke all of this, so he can actually hang around in basement for a bit. Uh, well, Sonny's pretty much left. Just Leland. I mean, he's got battery exit that he can go to now. He turns the battery back on, and then he's got gas station exit. I mean, we'll get out of the basement first. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing the MW2 gas station. Open. Thing is, he's in a party as well, so even if I talk in game chat, he's not going to hear me. Go. I've done my part. I know what you guys are thinking. How are you type so fast, mate? I had to reply back to them MW2 messages years ago. Also, I've got the speed texted on Xbox. Oh, no. So, since he's just poisoned a health potion, he's just drunk it. He's going to be highlighted for a full bit now. He's still got a barge ability, though. He can get out. The chicken right there, bro. Oh, come on. See, only a true Leland player would have actually stabbed that. Or he might be able to get out. He could just go straight to the gas station. Look, you've got a nice little route when you go in there. As soon as that door's open... And then boom, when you're the last survivor, you can see where all the killers are. Actually, a massive advantage. I mean, he's got the barge ability. Not much HP, though. I'd still play it safe at this point. Oh, bro, you got this. Oh! Go, that's it. Easy. Out. He's got... Just don't do anything. Don't troll. Don't go... No! Oh, no! No! What are you doing? Look at Sissy's face! Oh, my God. That is... That is the biggest Leland moment I've ever seen. Just leave. I know you wanted to do the barge, but just go, man. Oh, my God. Oh, Leland is truly a meme, I must say. All right, let's do it again. Let's see if we can get two wins in a row here with Julie. I like to try and keep it differently with my games, though. Like, I don't mind losing if it's a really tense game and, like, using that. I feel like if you get out really quickly, eh, it's not too bad. But I just like the really tense games. I try to get the most tense games I can. I'll show you. They've already woken up Grandpa straight away in the basement. We all knew it was coming. Let's hope that he doesn't meme too much. All right. oh, my left face is breaking that. We get two. It's quite risky, though. Just wait a sec. 
I'm not sure how loud it is rummaging through that. Oh, he's gone. There we go. Oh. Just about being efficient and stealthy. They always feel like whenever one of these basement doors get open, someone else is going to be roaming near it. I'll do what I did before. I'll open the two doors. Just so these guys actually have another escape route if they come back to the basement. Okay, that was difficult. Now I'd barge that. Grandpa's going off again. Oh, I'm hoping he don't run down here. Leland's already gone for the grandpa stab. I feel like whenever I play family and Leland stabs it and gets him all the way back down to level zero, it's it's actually painful. Are right, we good? No, let's get this open. I mean, is this going to be round two of Leland just stabbing grandpa and then trying to get away? But yeah, grow off me for a second here. We've got fuse. Oh. oh, goodbye, Leland. Oh, no. That's the problem with Leland going for the grandpa kills, man. You can do it. But if family members are near there, you just got to escape, man. You got to know where the wells are. And you got to be dipped into basement after you stab him. Leland, out. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. They move away from me. I can actually check and see if the fuse box is in here. Now, remember, Cook can't actually listen and hear you if you're crouching or crouch moving. Normally, only when you're jogging about. He's checking gate. Oh, man. Oh, I see him. I see him push. Wait. I don't know if he see me. Did he? What's he doing? Oh, he's found her instead. Okay. I'll take that. Let's go. I don't have a bow knife, so I can't actually do anything here. Another fuse there. Come on. Please be in here. Grandpa's right there. Hey, what's this? Now, I know that if you go through that door... Oh, that was a trap there. I know that if you go through that door right next to Grandpa, you always get alerted, even when you're crouching and walking. Just try not to even go near him. You do get highlighted. Open this one up. But that is why I love Julie. You can just open up the cool spaces really efficiently. Okay, someone just dropped basement. That's probably Anna. Booby trap this. You guys don't know, you can booby trap the lamps. If they turn it back on, they get stunned. Again. Oh, this is actually... I don't think that was the play. <laughs> we good, we good, wait. Oh, we... Okay. We're leaving. I don't think he saw me. I'm pretty sure he didn't. Oh, my God. I mean... How many times do I get away with that? Oh, what were you doing? You crazy? Oh man, now they're definitely gonna come in here looking again. I'm, I'm still gonna stay here. Wow, these guys are just—they got balls, man. They got bigger balls than me. Get for the stab kills. I feel like one victim always needs to run that grandpa perk. It is broken. Someone's in the basement getting bone scraps to stab him again, probably. They're fighting down there. I reckon they're all going to go to the basement here. Gives me the opportunity to actually go. As soon as you see any of the family members, at least two of them, chasing someone else, it's got the biggest opportunity just to try and get a lock right. There we go. Oh my god, someone's really close to me and I can't be behind. I'm hoping she's just in radius of house. Not chasing me. Take a time. Oh, we good. We good, we good. Go. Chicken there, watch out. Man, sometimes I get confused with that fuse box. I need to really go into a private match and see where they all spawn. I'm trying to learn just off the bat. Oh, crouch here. Right, this could be an easy battery game. I always like to go through that side gate, the little cargo bit. They're always checking the main gate, but mm, not so much the side. Valve here as well. Do you know what? I'm going to ignore it for a sec. Just... I always pick lock first and then turn on battery. At least when you lock pick something, you know, if someone else is coming in, you're getting chased and you dipped a well. At least it's already pick locked. Oh, beautiful. Just going to take the valve in case they do actually chase me while I'm turning this off.
Can dip down a well, go back to basement, you know, rotate. I've got Fuse and Valve here. Turn this off and hope we can get out. And that's two dead. Just Julian and Anna. Anna's roaming the map quite well. If she can get out, though. I do hope they start putting pings in this game. That'd be quite nice as well. Can I use that? Just going to open up all this cool space just in case they do come over here. I know I can leave here. I just want to kind of make a little bit of noise, maybe distract him to come over to me if Anna's in trouble. Yeah, Anna's all the way over there. Question is, if she comes over. Just get highlighted from Grandpa there just so they come over. Sure, yeah, no, I reckon nothing else has been open. God, yeah, double lock pad here. She's got the side entrance. Oh! Hold on. I'm just trying to bait him to come over. I want to waste a little bit of time for him. I promise I'm not trolling, guys. I'm not one to teabag at the exit gate, but I am one to sort of waste time for him to come over. To try and give Anna the opportunity to escape. Oh, my God, there's no way she's going for the stab again. Are you? Oh, you're crazy! You're crazy! Oh, please, just come here. Now, you do get a lot of XP for stabbing Grandpa. Someone said that you get 500 XP. Oh, she's dead. My aunt Cook's coming over now. That's my chance to leave. I'm out. <laughs> I done what I could there. The other two got taken out quite early, painfully. Let's see if Anna gets out. Oh, my God. She's close. Oh, you out. I mean, that is pretty close. God damn. So, Julie is really good. I mean, we tried, guys. I tried my best. GG though. Let me know what you guys think of Julie.